You've got to go a little crazy to be the daddy of the dolls. It's a brutal thing deciding which one to get next. You stand there, vocalizing your selection process, but it's too much. You're confused and the dolls won't talk back, so you wait. I didn't set out to amass this collection. It all started when I copped that first Monster High doll and never looked back. There wasn't much room in that wonderful old house. I wanted to have money for things like savings and rent. First, I wanted more dolls, other lines, other brands. They wouldn't be there forever. Welcome back, or welcome for the first time. It is Daddy of the Dolls. I'm here to open another box. Today we're opening a box from Amazon. So I know what this is. I just haven't seen it in person. And this thing has sat for 24 hours. I have not opened it. That is probably the longest I have never opened something that I have bought from Amazon. So let's go ahead and bust it open. So I don't remember her name, but this is, um, well, show you. Ooh, it's Karma Nichols neon green. That means we are almost done with our first round of the rainbow. These aren't the, all from the same line that I have right now. Uh, this is my sixth um, rainbow high doll. Uh, I did start with monster high. I have like all those. I have some everywhere around my room here. I've got like 130, 140, something like that of those. Um, and since they don't really make those anymore, uh, they just now started up again. But um, I find these to be much more fun. So so I might go in back into Monster High if they come back out with more than just the reboot um, or the revamp of the originals. But um, this right here is my new obsession, these Rainbow High dolls. So I've got the green. I have Poppy coming on Monday. She's the orange one. And I'm sure we'll see a few more added um, along the way. But this is what we're opening today. This is Carmen Nichols. Uh, that ring light is terrible. There you go, girl. Get your light. Get your light. <laughs> First impressions, hair is disgusting again. Uh, if you saw the last video, I opened up um, Mia Barrymore and her hair was just crunchy and stiff. Same thing here, the stuff that was kind of flattened down um, and held in place by the plastic bands in the front, it's crunchy and it's really bad. Like, I mean, you can kind of see it there. Her neon green shows up kind of um, bright, but uh, you can hear it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get into washing some doll hair. Um, she does not have earrings, which I kind of like because not everybody's got to wear earrings. Um, her makeup job, beautiful. Let's see, everything looks good. Yep, yeah, she's got like this hint of like a, a, a pink color, a, a reddish color here. And she's got that really pretty, it reminds me of Gaga. Um, a little bit that um, liner that comes out but it's not filled in and it just kind of goes around and you've got a natural um, kind of colored crease underneath there. Um, very nice. I love the makeup job. I would not be surprised if drag queens were helping with this makeup design. Um, they're probably not, but it would be amazing if they were because it's so draggy. Um, they're at least using drag as inspiration. It, it, it's clear, right? Um, so let's go for her outfit now. She's wearing... Uh, let's see, this is a... Oh, okay. So what we've got here, uh, we've got this really cool long pleated skirt. It's got some um, sparkle on it there. That is just uh, glitter with glue. So glitter glue dots. Um, little black belt here, like a, 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 like a cargo belt thing or a, a little strappy belt um, holding on this the top part of the skirt. Then we've got this cool little uh, white net with a green backing and then a bright green stitching on it. Top there. 
Um, but what happens is you take this off. So that's its own piece. It's not even part of the skirt. So it's kind of like, um, kind of like a corset, I guess. I guess it's kind of like a little corset, but like not a tight one. Um, so then that's what she's got underneath. Um, that skirt is underneath is just a solid green. So she's got like a mini skirt and then this longer skirt. I actually might have liked this skirt to even go further down a little bit. Uh, it's a mid calf length. I wouldn't have minded it to be an ankle length. Um, but I do like this. By the way, if you hear my dogs, they're, I've been making a lot of these videos back to back. So, um, they're hanging out trying to decide who I'm talking to right outside my door. So, sorry. Um, get this plastic piece off her head. There we go. Um, speaking of her head, this is what her head looks like in the back. It's bad. Like, she's definitely going to be touched by an angel over here. Roma Downey, where you at? Um, and then her shoes. She's got on little white fishnet socks here. You see that? And then she's got a nice little um, heel here in mint. It's more like a mint green, not so neon-y. Stop it, please. So her uh, shoes there are a little more like mint greens and lime. If you look really close, there's a like a buckle. Can't even make out what it says. Oh, it says sparkle. Um, so that is the doll itself. Um, so this is uh, Karma. Let's go ahead and put her on her stand so we can go through her closet here. And there's one thing I'm already more excited about um, with this one than I am or than I was with the last unboxing, which would have been Mia. Um, Mia is part of the new wave, and she did not come with a hanger, which bugs me a little bit because I like the hangers. I think they're cute. I've always thought hanging doll clothes was cute, which is why I have that closet there. Um, it's just a really cute addition to a collection. Uh, so we'll keep her right there. We'll keep her little skirt slash corset over here. Uh, all right, let's start with, of course, hangers. Uh, they came, it's like a yellowy green, not so much a neon green, which is probably really, really hard to tell on camera there. Actually, it looks more neon green on camera than it is in, in real life. Um, it's a little bit more yellow. Uh, and then her jacket is way, way, way cute. So it's a green fishnet type thing, or green lace almost, because it, if you look close, the arms do say RH on them all the way down. A little cuff on the end there. Um, a little stretchy so they can get it on and off. Um, simple. It's all cloth. Then she's got this. Um, let's see. Can we get it? There we go. It says rainbow on. It says rainbow on the inside there. Um, so I like that. And then the skirt that goes with it is a little green neon pleather skirt. Like this girl is ready to go out and party in this skirt. You cannot tell me anything else. Um, very cute. It's. Um, just got a Velcro closure on the back, zipper pocket, little zipper pocket. Um, to me, this is very 90s, which is perfect for uh, me being a 90, 80s, 90s baby. Um, and then her shoes with this one. Let's see. Another thing I like that they don't do anymore. Oh, there it is. I was going to say they don't label left and right shoes because I couldn't find it on a few shoes, but they are actually on this one. Um, so wait, let's check again right shoe so there we go that's how they're gonna look so i like these a lot they are um again more mint green than neon green which is fine because i think that it makes it matchable for other things although i think neons are great uh, it looks darker than it is like on, on camera it's showing up a lot more green and neon uh it's a little bit more mint it's got a white um, kind of buckle closure around the top and then it's got uh, open here on the sides open on this side uh, and then a little heel on the back it's a little chunky stiletto so overall she's gorgeous uh, she's fun of all of them she's like the most fun so far um, to add to the collection so she's number six on my little uh, lineup here so uh, I would say she's the one that I would want to party with the most like like, Karma is going to party. She's going to have fun. Um, this is kind of her daytime sensible look. Um, well, I mean, I don't know how sensible it is, considering we've got a... Uh, oops. 
we go. We've got a corset that's not really a corset. I mean, let's put that back on here so you can see the full effect of this outfit standing up. This is like her, maybe her day job. Like, I don't know what her day job is, but this is maybe her day job look. And then this is like, I want to go out and party look. Um, in fact, I think I would probably leave the top on her, put this on, and then put the jacket on over it. But I think that top is cuter than the rainbow t-shirt, the rainbow high t-shirt here. Um, just because I think it's kind of basic. Uh, which is fine. Uh, everybody needs some basics in their wardrobe. So Carmen here has that basic t-shirt. Um, but I think this is the coolest outfit uh, so far. So let's go ahead and add her to the party since she is the life of the party, I think. And then let's see. We're running out of places already to put things. We're going to have to reassess the way we organize everything here. Um, so I'm going to just set her shoes up here until we can figure out a way to fix that. Uh, her comb. For now, I'm just throwing all my combs in this thing right here. And I like having all of the combs because it does show you, um, you know, all the colors that you have. Because they're the same colors to stand. Uh, so it represents what you have in your collection really well. Um, and then we can go ahead and put that back. I will work on getting her stuff on hangers and putting them up there, finding a place for everything, because like I said, I am running out of space. Um, very, very soon I will have Poppy to unbox, so come back for that one. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, you have any comments, uh, please share it below. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. I would love that. I am going to do one of these every week for as long as I can. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that unboxing. And uh, this has been Daddy of the Dolls. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day and have fun. See ya.